Yo, what's up, GG Nation? GG Lee, it's your fella again. Straussman, the GG. And as you can see on screen, let's do a overview on NBA 2K18, my team. There's a new set released today. It's called KG's Teammates. Very unique set. Let's give you, I just want to give you a quick rundown of what I think about it. And then I'll, I won't try to take too much of your time. It is uh, Gigi's birthday week. It is approaching really fast. Trying to get you some content. I do apologize. Last Last week I was really good. I had a video for you guys every day. This week I've been pretty slacking. Meant to get the Call of Duty video on Tuesday when that content dropped. But processing issues and the video not working out. I had to put it up on Wednesday, which was yesterday. New set came out today. Let's talk about it. Is this a cop or flop? Like, what do you, what do you guys think down below? The overall set reward is Pink Diamond KG. I'm going to tell you what I think what cards are really good and what cards are kind of so-so. Um, let me look at this KG's uh, stats really quick here. I didn't, I didn't look. I didn't see how many Hall of Fame badges. I looked at all the other cards already. And there's only a few I would kind of consider that are really, really good. And a few others that you would only kind of lock in for the collection. Wow, they made this KG way too. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a pink diamond for sure. Um... So let's let's get into it. Like the only cards I kind of think are really, really interesting or really good for this set is obviously this Carl Anthony Towns. It's a really unique set for two K. We have never had a set like this where it's just really centered around one player and his teammates. You know, I was thinking outside the box a little bit. I was thinking you know that KG was the final reward, but this set was about just great teammates in general, not specifically. KG's teammates, but obviously I was wrong. It was clearly about KG's teammates. It says KG's teammates, so you know I was just kind of thinking outside the box a little bit, but they didn't go that route. They clearly went with uh, all the cards he's, uh, all the teammates he's had uh, throughout the years. Mostly Minnesota, mostly, uh, mostly uh, Celtics, and then a little bit. There's surprisingly a good amount of. Um, Brooklyn players, you know, Nets players that he was part of, but he wasn't there for too long. Uh, but this Carl Anthony Towns going for, like, way too much right now. Great center. I'll compare him to big Nate Thurman. Offensively, really, really good. Defensively, really, really good, too. Still, Nate Thurman's pretty... That's kind of what Nate, this big Nate Thurman's really good at is uh, his uh, defense. And vertical and athleticism and acceleration and speed. Uh, in general, is better than, you know, Carl Anthony Towns. This card still is pretty close to a pink diamond, if not a 98 diamond. This card's really good. has a really good three ball, I think, like 93. I think he has great dunk tendencies, too. Uh, yeah, he does. He does. He, he does. He's got 95. That's really good. Really, really good. I think that uh, Carl Anthony Towns is a great one. Paul Pierce, I think this card... Is much better than the 95 diamond from last year. This card is really good. Eight Hall of Fame badges. I'll show you how he compares to Vince Carter. I'll kind of slow it down a little bit. My Vince Carter has a diamond shoe, so it makes him better defensively a little bit. He could be a, a little bit faster, I would say. Uh, but this card overall is really good. I think it's the first time I've seen Charge Card as an Amethyst Hall of Fame all, all year. Correct me if I'm wrong, because uh, a lot of the earlier Amethysts didn't have Hall of Fame badges. All the all the Amethyst and Rubies now are kind of having Hall of Fame badges are really interesting. But he has all the good ones you would want. You know, Corner Specialist, Catch and Shoot, Deep Range, Limitless. A lot of people will want. Another really good thing about this card is his tendency. You know, he has a 95 driving and flashy dunk tendency. That's incredible for a Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce is really not known for that, for dunking. So that's a really good, really, really good uh, card. This Joe Johnson, I don't know what to think about it. I haven't played with Joe Johnson this year, so I don't know how his release is. A 96 Brooklyn Joe Johnson was just really interesting. He definitely was not 25 when he was in Brooklyn. That was more of the later stages of his career. Um, 99 overall offensively, defensively. He has good 
offensive stats. Uh, let's see his drive. He's got an 85 driving dunk tendency, so he'll slam it occasionally. All the great shooting badges, but I don't know. I don't know his release. I think a lot of people are not going to really go for this card unless they want to complete the set. This card right here, this Rajon Rondo, is very disappointing. And I'm just going to talk about some of the other cards. I'm not going to really show them. I'm going to end this video really quick. I just kind of want to show you the diamonds because that's what everyone really cares about is the diamonds. I think R Rondo is a huge missed opportunity. He has an 82 three ball, which is really good. But look at his driving dunk tendencies. They're a complete zero. People will not use this card. The, the the Diamond Rondo with Paul Pierce dynamic duo last year was incredible. It was a great dynamic duo. But this Rondo, this Rondo is going to go for very cheap. It's going for money now because people are probably trying to get the be the first ones to get that Pink Diamond KG. And as you know, the Pink Diamond Harding glitch, a lot of people made buku money. Made buku money. So they're probably waiting for this. Um, Sam Cassell is a pass for me. Um... Wiggins is good. This Wiggins card is really good. Great card. Let me see his three ball really quick. I didn't check that. 88 three ball. He had a horrendous year of shooting threes this year. But great three ball. This Brook Lopez is going to be for your budget ballers. Great, great card. 93 open shot three, I think. And he has all the badges as well, which is really, really good. I think a lot of people will get this. I personally am biased. I like this Wally Zerbiak a lot. I think he'll be a really... I've liked, always liked Wally Zerbiak. Really disappointed they did not have the testicular fortitude to make this a diamond card. Because, you know, Wally Zerbiak in his Timberwolves days is highly, uh, highly overlooked. Highly overlooked player. Catch and shoot, Amethyst. Going to be a fun little ruby budget card to run off the bench. This is the interesting part. They have another KG in the set, which is a young KG. I guess for people that couldn't get the Amethyst KG, that was the Boston KG in that other set. Defensive stop for pick and roller. Really interesting card to use. I don't know how it will play. I don't know how KG's release in this game. Please tell me down below. Trennan, I don't know. Don't I? I mm. A lot of people will get the Scalabrini. I'm really shocked the Scalabrini doesn't have an Amethyst badge. I figured they would give him catch and shoot. A lot of people love Scal because he's a trolley type player. You know, 2K always makes him a lot better than he really was. No offense, Big Scal. You you know you were part of that Celtics team with the championship. But this this diamond this pink diamond KG has 15 Hall of Fame badges. Definitely worth it. A 92 open shot three ball. Just looked at the sets. Um, the cards I think are personally worth it is probably K Towns, Cat, and Paul Pierce. I like the Zerbiak, the Wiggins, and the Brooke Lopez. Everybody else is kind of a pass for me. The set, I think it's very good, but I still think the Heat Check set was a little bit better than this set. Really unique set. Tell me what you think down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Pink Diamonds are always great to go, go with. Do I think this is the last set, by the way? No. No, I think they'll have at least one or two. They'll have a, a playoff set, and that's where it will kind of end or at least playoff moments players like they did last year. Uh, so I don't think the content's done. Uh, I need I will renew my plus, so we'll stream really, really soon to get this pink diamond for Zingas. I'm going to try to go for it. I'm not really... A lot of people are going to go super hard for this card because it's really cheesy. 7-3. Probably going to have a 99-3 ball. A kajillion Hall of Fame badges. Um, so it's going to be really interesting. Tell me what you think. Make sure you follow my Twitch down below. Tell me what you think. Was this set a cop or flop? Are you going to go hard for it? Tell me what you think. Budget ballers, let me show you my lineup. Here's my Super Max lineup. And I, this lineup I completely made by just playing the game. Finishing... You know, a lot of people won't say I'm a budget baller, but I I was. I know I just upgraded recently, took advantage of cards that are selling low, and the schedule mode. I I hate playing this personally. It's a lot of games, but man, they give you a good amount of MT towards the end. Each set probably gets you around 50 to 60, even more MT. And I completed 10 of them, which I can't believe I've done that. And I'll probably continue a little bit more. I've slowed down a little bit. I kind of got the players I wanted to play with with Super Max. Getting a pink diamond, uh, I'm getting a pink diamond David Robertson in a few weeks. So 
2K has really done a great job with the content. I got a lot more things to sell and do on my team. We'll start streaming. We'll start doing that. Got a war. Got got 10 out of 10 on a lot of reviews. We'll talk about that either tonight's video or tomorrow's video. Very excited to get that game. That game comes out five days after my birthday. Extremely excited to pick it up. Um, definitely will be playing it. Don't know if I'll stream it right away. I think I'll play it for a little bit and then stream it. Uh, definitely make a couple videos for you guys. It's just my uh, Astro A50 does not work on my gold PS4 unless I get the adapter and I've been slacking on buying an adapter. But thank you so much for, you know, you know, liking, commenting, subscribing. The Nate Thurman Pink Diamond video did pretty well. Go check out the Call of Duty vid for the new Nazi zombie map. Appreciate all the love and support. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think about the set. You know, follow my Twitch down below so you know when I'm live streaming. A lot of celebration. Golden God week here. His birthday week approaching really quick. Your fella, Strauss Man, the GG. He's outie.